This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. Oh, here we are back again. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about the air capital of the world, which is Kansas and more so Wichita because, you know, there were, there were three or four manufacturers there. And one of the more famous, of course, is Beach. Beach aircraft, the Beach Bonanza. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Beach Bonanza was one of the best-selling uh, aircraft ever in private aircraft. I mean, it, it was incredible. And it was built right here in the state of Kansas. This is a Kansas profile from Ron Wilson. He's director of the Huck Boyd National Institute for Rural Development at Kansas State University. Cessna, Beechcraft, Stearman. These are some of the classic names of airplanes and aviation companies. Those names belong to men who were pioneers of the aviation industry. Today we'll learn about another of the industry's best leaders, but this aviation business pioneer wasn't a man, it was a woman. In an earlier show, we learned about aviation industry leader Clyde Cessna. In 1925, Cessna and another man named Lloyd Stearman created an airplane company along with a young test pilot named Walter Beach. Walter Beach came from a farm in Tennessee. He built a glider at the age of 14 and served in the U.S. Army Air Corps during World War I. In 1921, he came to work for an airplane company in Wichita. Four years later, he joined Lloyd Stearman and Cessna to form Travel Air Manufacturing Company. He met a woman named Olive Ann Miller. Olive Ann came from Waverly in eastern Kansas. She attended business school in Wichita and then was bookkeeper for a company in Augusta before becoming bookkeeper and then office manager for Travel Air Manufacturing. She and Walter Beach were married in 1930. In the following year, Travel Air was purchased by the Curtis Wright Airplane Company. Walter Beach became president of Curtis Wright, but he didn't like the fact that those duties kept him in New York away from production of airplanes. In 1932, he and his wife, Olive Ann, came back to Wichita to form their new business, Beach Aircraft Company. Walter was president of the company. Olive Ann was secretary treasurer. The company goal was to attain higher standards of airplane performance. In 1933, their innovative stagger wing design airplane won the Texaco Trophy Race. Soon the Beach stagger wing airplanes were breaking records all over the world. The Twin Beach, unveiled in 1937, was another major success. In 1940, Walter Beach became ill with encephalitis. Olive Ann stepped in to run the company and did so successfully until his return. During World War II, the Beach Aircraft Company built more than 7,000 airplanes for the U.S. war effort. After the war, Beach unveiled the V-tailed Bonanza, which was another success. The Bonanza was used to make the longest nonstop solo flight on record by flying 4,960 miles from Honolulu to New Jersey in 36 hours. The beach business was continuing to grow, but in 1950, Walter Beach suddenly perished from a heart attack and the company was again plunged into uncertainty. Olive Van Beach stepped into the leadership role yet again. She was elected by the board of directors as president and chairman of the board. For the next 18 years, she served in this capacity and presided over a remarkable period of growth. The company grew its aviation business and even diversified to assist NASA with the development of cryogenic systems in the 1950s. In the 1960s, the company included the King Air, which quickly established itself as the industry standard in a corporate jet. Today, the various King Air models maintain a market share of more than 90% in their class. In 1980, Beach Aircraft was purchased by Raytheon. Olive Ann Beach served on the Raytheon Board of Directors until she became Chairman Emeritus in 1982. She passed away in 1993 after receiving many honors. For example, the highest honor which the aviation industry bestows is the Wright Brothers Memorial Trophy which was awarded to her by the National Aeronautic Association in 1980, 
for five decades of outstanding leadership in the development of general aviation. She was inducted into the American National Business Hall of Fame in 1983 and became the first inductee in the Kansas Business Hall of Fame in 1986. That's quite an accomplishment for someone who came from the rural community of Waverly, Kansas, population 581. Cessna, Stearman, Beechcraft. These are pioneers of the aviation industry, and one of its key leaders was a woman, Olive Ann Beach. And there's more. Cessna and Beach were partners of Lloyd Stearman, whose name for his classic biplane still endures today. Fort Wallace stood on the frontier in the midst of the Plains Indians Wars on a major stage route and rail line. Beside the 1865 Stagecoach Station, a modern museum with thousands of artifacts tell that story, like the fossil of a 40-foot plesiosaur is suspended from the ceiling. Located on Highway 40, midway between Hayes and Colorado Springs, the Fort Wallace Museum is as welcome a site today as the fort itself in the 1860s. Discover the fightingest fort in the West.